Hello everyone, welcome to Jessica Academy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a metallic workflow in Renderman using PXR Surface. So we have a dedicated material called the PXR Disney BSDF in Renderman to use metallic workflow or uh, metalness based textures. But uh, when you when you want to work with the metalness based textures into PXR Surface, so both work in a different way. So in in PXR Surface, that the shader will work based on IO or values. So in in metallic maps, so so we usually define the metalness using the metallic map. But in PXR Surface, we usually define the metalness using the IO or so. Uh, so, in order to achieve the same look using the PXR Disney material and with the metalness map texture, we can get the same result using the PXR surface material. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to achieve that. So, we have a dedicated notes for that. So, I already have a, a PXR Disney shader uh, that connected with our metalness based textures and this is the result for it. So let's see how the maps are looking like. Yeah, so let's solo the color texture. So this is what our color texture is looking like and let's see the metalness. So basically in metallic workflow, so the metalness map defines the look of the material. So whether it is a metal or a diffused material. So basically the more brighter you go, the material will look more metallic. So the darker values will look more towards a diffused materials. And the same way, the base color is also contributing to the metalness or IO or uh, reflections. So basically in the base color, so whatever that have the brighter values will look more shiny, metallic look, and uh, the darker values will look a little less metallic kind of uh, look. So yeah, still, still it will look metal, but a less metallic. So let's see how our spec R looks. So this is our spec R map and this is our normal map. So I have connected the normal using the PXR normal map to the pump normal. So this is pretty much same like uh, PXR surface. But let's see, let's connect and see how to use the metalness map uh, based textures in PXR surface. I'm going to create the PXR surface material. So this is our PXR surface material and I'm going to assign this to our geometry first. Cool, so this is our PXR surface. So let's directly connect this color to our diffuse color. So you can see this is our diffuse color and let's connect our metal to the specular. So as you can see here in the specular face color here, it is uh, RGB input. So, so when you connect your metalness to the specular edge color or face color, so it doesn't give you the look that you want. Okay. Oh, so we need to connect it with the result RGB. My bad. So, so as you can see here, so this is not the look that we want. So, so let's see how we can achieve this. So in order to achieve it, we have something called PXR metallic workflow. So this is a node. So basically you need to connect your color on the base color and the metallic to this. So it should be connect on result R, RGB, whatever. So yeah, let's connect this on the B. Okay, let's get this and connect properly. So we have connected the result R into the metallic. So let's disconnect it. Oops. Yeah. So once you connected your base color and your metallic to this PXR metallic workflow node, so let's connect our diffuse to a diffuse color now and see. So as you can see here, so let's first see uh, the theory how we can create a metal material so if we have a 
a brighter color in the diffuse and if you create a metal so it doesn't look like a metal because the diffuse is already contributing so when you when you reduce the diffuse color now it looks like a metal so when you want to create metal materials with the pxr surface you need to make sure you're using a, a darker color in the diffuse so yeah so let's connect uh, diffuse RGB now to diffuse color so we have our diffuse color connected and uh, let's get this back to zero and uh, yeah and we need to increase the diffuse gain back to one so yeah now our diffuse is connected and now we need to connect this specular edge color to specular edge color and specular face color to the specular face RGB so now we have uh, connected our uh, outputs of our PXR material workflow to our PXR surface. So let's compare this with our PXR Disney material. So you can see here our metals and reflections are pretty darker. So in order to match this, we need to enable the specular model to GGX. So now if you check this, this is more or less looking same as the pxr disney material but i personally like this uh, the look of uh, pxr surface and still you can achieve the same result by tweaking some of the parameters and you can even color correct anything that you want from here and it still gives you the same result but only thing we need to now connect is we need to connect our speaker to the specular roughness and finally we need to connect our normal so that we can get the proper result so yeah we're done with our renders so now you can see and check with our, uh, compare with our PXR metallic workflow so now you can see we have more or less the same result that we have here so if you want you can play with the IOR and the other values here so basically in, in in artistic mode you need to play with the Fresnel exponent so yeah so that is pretty much it for this tutorial and thanks for watching